buddies, it's your girl at Christina, and today we are checking out a something scary. It's been a while since we checked them out. We've been on the Nightmare Files and the Wanna See tip. This is Child of the Cliff. On the thumbnail, I think it says, this is not our baby. I'm like, Ninja, whose baby is this? And how'd you get this baby if it ain't yours? So I'm interested to see what's going on. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? No, I'm good. Child, Child of, the of the Cliff. The whispering scary. The following is based on a Filipino urban legend submitted okay. by Jethro. All right. Jethro, that's Pastel the Pastel and Greg were a happy young couple in love. Oh, was it One of their passions was traveling. They loved to gaze upon the natural beauty of the world. Oh. It was how they felt closer to God. That's Their good. favorite spot to visit was Mines View Park, a cliff okay. with a spectacular view. That's where Greg proposed to Pastel and oh, where they oh, held Pastel's their simple name. wedding Not ceremony. Not too long after, Pastel that's became sweet. pregnant with their first child. Oh, that's Pastel good. and Greg, being a very good looking couple themselves, mm. were constantly showered with assurance from their friends and family that mm. their baby would too be beautiful. In the months leading up to their baby's birth, they prepared the nursery and bought many toys and clothes. That's such an exciting they spared time. No expense. They had traveled That's all exciting. over the world to see God's beautiful creations. Oh, well, well, she's pregnant. But they That's knew good. nothing would be more beautiful than the new life they would soon be blessed with. Mm -hmm. They were ready to see God in their new baby. child. The day finally came. Mm -hmm. Pastel had chosen to give birth naturally in their home, okay. in a tub. She That's was in great. labor for quite a while, and Greg was starting to become concerned. Okay. But the midwife assured them that everything was fine. Okay. After many tiring hours, their baby was born. Oh. Congratulations, you have a healthy little girl. The couple smiled down at their little oh. miracle. That's good. But only for a fleeting moment. Really? The baby's eyes were large and uneven, almost bulging out of her skull. One of her ears was folded over entirely. Oh, One of her arms was shorter than the other. Oh, Is baby. she okay? Pastel asked the midwife. Oh, yes. She's a very healthy young girl. Despite oh. these minor abnormalities, she will live a long, happy life. Congratulations again. You are so, so lucky. So she what is are you healthy? Her? That's good. The couple didn't answer. Oh. Later that night, neither one of them could sleep. They just sat okay. in bed, their thoughts racing through their minds. Their unnamed baby, however, was sleeping peacefully in her Still crib. no name? Pastel turned to Greg. That's not our baby, she what? said coldly. I don't see God in that child. I Is see the devil. Is it cause Early the next morning, Pastel deformities? and Greg decided to visit Mines View Park, thinking it would raise their moods. Okay. Pastel carried the baby in her arms as they approached the edge of the cliff I'm nervous and looked this. out over the valley. The sun was just barely rising. Uh -huh. It was still early enough that no one else was at the park. Pastel what? took a step towards the edge. No. And another. No. And another. No. And let her arms drop. No! Greg rubbed her back comfortingly. We'll try again, honey. A month or so- Yo! Okay, earlier when those people were like, oh, the family members and stuff were assuring them that their baby was beautiful. That's a normal thing. So I didn't really think any, I, I mean, I thought something about it. I was like, D is that something that they asked or needed? And I was like, okay, it's okay. Because I mean, every, anytime they're like, oh, you guys are beautiful. I'm sure your baby's going to be beautiful. That's a normal thing for people to say. But for y'all to give birth, the baby has deformities. I'm not going to lie. I'd be like nervous. Like, is my baby okay? I'd be full of anxiety. But I'm not going to be like, that's not our baby. That baby was a devil. And then be like, oh, there's a cliff. Let me drop. If you don't, oh my goodness. If you don't want the freaking baby, give it up for adoption. Don't kill the, that's not the only option, people. That's not the only option. And I mean, after the baby's born. Before the baby's born, pro-choice. Do what you feel is needed and necessary, okay? But you gave, you took the time and gave birth to the baby. If you look at the baby and you're like, hey, I don't want this baby, go to a fire station, go to a hospital, go to a orphanage. I don't know how you drop babies off because I kept mine, but you know, Google while she up on the phone, uh, while she up late, awake because she's tired, she can't sleep because she don't like her baby. Google, where can I drop my baby off? Call them. Drop the baby off. Don't drop the baby off a cliff. When they say drop a baby off, they don't mean off a cliff. They mean at a fire station or a hospital or wherever you drop a baby off. 
Oh my gosh, dear word. So later, Pastel became pregnant again. Every day I don't feel like up she to her it. due date, they prayed to God that their baby would be born differently than last right. time. They're talking she about was. beautiful. Pastel gave birth to a healthy baby girl mm. whose features were a seamless blend See, of her parents. See, it was only because of she what she looked like. She was perfect to Pastel and Greg They do not deserve way. this other baby. They decided to name her They killed Angela. a baby. On Angela's fourth birthday, they took her to their favorite park so they could show her their special place by the cliff. Where they murdered and that her way, sister. it could be their special place okay. as a family. Y'all are when they messed entered up. The gate, Angela began to cry. I don't like this place. Mm. She sobbed. Can we go home? We mm -hmm. just want to show you our favorite place in the world, darling. No, where we murdered Pastel your sister. tried to comfort her. It's just right over there. You're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Angela was putting up a bit of a fight, and her parents were embarrassed by the scene they were causing. But mm -hmm. they managed to get Angela to the cliff, mm -hmm. and that's when she completely lost it. Mommy, mm -hmm. no, 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 please don't hurt me, please. At this point, everyone oh, in the park was staring. Please don't throw me over again, please. Again? I'm pretty now. I came back pretty so you'd love me. Oh my don't goodness. Don't you love me? Oh my gosh. to cry right now this poor baby girl so essentially she's like you know mommy please don't throw me over again i came back pretty so you would love me please don't hurt me that's why she didn't want to go there so essentially to the legend she you know came back and she tried to make sure she was pretty so that her parents would love her them hoes do not deserve this baby. And excuse my French, but I don't care because them hoes threw the baby over. So that's what, they, <laughs> that's what they are. And you like it, that's all I'm calling them. Like, yo. Yo. That hurts my heart. When you have, like, kids who are in situations where they, their parents are messed up, because that's pretty messed up. I don't care how nice you are. You recycle. You take care of the world. But you threw a baby off a cliff. You is scum of the earth. Okay, um, so like, yeah, goodness, just because she looked ugly to you, well, I, I get it, she didn't have flattering features, you know, and that's what the definition of ugly is, like when the features are not flattering to somebody, so I get that she had a short arm and big eyes and it wasn't flattering for you to look at, but that does not mean that the baby deserves to die. And the fact that the baby's like, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna come back prettier. It may, it, my heart goes out to kids who have like crap parents and these kids do anything for them or still love them or do things to vie for their parents' love and, and their parents are POSs. Like, I, I just, my heart goes out to situations like that, bruh. And the fact that she's like, don't hurt me again. I came back so I'm pretty. I wanna know what the next step is. I would be the person that if I knew about the situation, uh, you know, let's say I heard about it right before this happened, I'd be like, what y'all gonna say? Tell me what you gonna say. It's okay, baby girl, I'm, I'm gonna take care of you. Let's push your parents over the edge, okay? Cause they ugly, all right? They may look good on the outside, but they ugly as crap on the inside. And because of their their philosophy, if you ugly, you go off a cliff, we gotta throw their butts off the cliff. And I'm breaking my neck saying this. I don't know if your frame rate is gonna keep up with this <laughs> record, but I am upset. That is freaking. Sorry guys, that was really sad. That was really, really sad. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below. How do you feel? Tell me how you feel. Talk to me down below. Cause I'm like, y'all, I'm just, y'all know how I feel. Uh, if you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.